kickstand. This front rack says CT125. I'm going to go right there. Left, right spacers, four bolts, pretty simple, really easy. I would use the Permatex again on that. And then there's this Moto Lords windscreen, which I already put this on. There's this to go there, these this and this and it connects to the steering column so that looks pretty complicated i don't know how to do it so I'm gonna experiment as i go no instructions all this stuff is from thailand probably 25 bucks 25 for shipping this is like 100 bucks or something total um, tools for this one you're going to need 14 15 millimeter probably a crescent wrench the key that the bike came with and whatever that is, 10 millimeter. But we're gonna do this little front rack first. Man, does that look cool, that little rack. So, CT125, pretty sweet. It's got lock nuts on it, nylon lock nuts, pretty nice. Pretty solid, looks great. Little spacers right there, right there. Now, let's see if this windscreen will fit with that on there. This windscreen looks pretty complicated to install. That front rack was super easy. Literally just took this Allen wrench. That's it. Oh, and a 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter and Allen wrench. That's it. But really sharp looking. Let's see if we can get this windscreen on and get it to fit on with the rack. All right, that looks pretty sick as far as the front rack goes, CT125. Now, this Moto Lords windscreen is really cool as well, so it's not gonna fit. It's not gonna fit, it's too short. So, what I think I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna go to Lowe's or Home Depot, wherever, somewhere, and get a bolt to screw on that, and then extend it up about two inches, and just raise the windscreen, because I'm probably taller anyway than a lot of people riding these, so the higher windscreen will be good. You can see how that mounts really clean. But I moved the riding position forward farther too, so when I'm sitting out, my arms are farther out. With adding these modification parts on, a lot of the stock parts, these are the four stock bolts that go on the handlebars. So keep those. Those are your four dummy plates that cover them. This is a bolt that went somewhere that I lost. Oh, it's for the moto skill in the center right there. But those bolts are gone. Those bolts are gone. So save them all in case anybody wants them. All right, so I was able to get this mopped up to, to work and rise above 
the front rack. So connecting nut goes there. And then you have this additional screw. And it's gonna have a nut there to attach to the windscreen. And then there to attach to the connecting nut. And that's what it looks like on the windscreen. So what that will do is get that to clear the height of your front rack. You got the front rack, which says CT125, super cool, and the Moto Lords. Windscreen. Had to modify the risers for the windscreen to get them to fit. So that came stock and that came stock. I had to get the connecting nut, rise it, get that nut and that bolt. So you can see, I didn't go quite as far down evenly, but it's level. So from the inside, you notice that gap and that gap aren't the same. But if you look at the front, that height and that height are the same. I used the blue Loctite on all the bolts. These, these four, you do not want those coming loose while you're riding. And all of these. It's your tools. This Allen key is different than the stock. So for there and there and there and there. You get a 10 millimeter, which goes on the back. Those nuts, which are nylon lock, lock washers on those, which is pretty nice. Press the wrench, 14, 15, and T40, and Visiglass. That looks pretty sweet though. I'm liking it.